Well, I have my all my paint well. But what I want to say is that no matter what I'm painting, I put out my entire palette. My palette here in the studio is much larger than my palette when I'm working on location. Um, but no matter what I'm working on, no matter what colors I think I'm going to be using, I want everything out because I've learned if it's not out, I'm going to find a way of not needing it. Mm -hmm. And so I want to have them all out and then decide whether or not I need them or will use them. These are my little test colors as a reminder of um, a painting that I'm working on and I wanted this because I'm, this is a uh, disposable uh, palette paper. And so each day I rip this off, these out of the way. I rip these off and I slowly transfer anything that's still good onto uh, a new piece of a disposable palette. And you're wiping the knife each time, don't get it Yep. Mixed up and, and polluted. So, you know, if there's nothing there, I, you know, I have to get some, get some new paint for there. So anyway, I, I go through all that. Uh, and then I'm starting anew because I don't, this is all dead. And so I need to start anew. So that's that. You work primarily in oils. It's all oil. I'm using a uh, liquid as my medium. And this is uh, odorless mineral spirits for uh, cleaning the brushes. Right and, on. Uh, that's about it. I'm not certain when I started, for example, this painting. I, I'm not. I'm not fully certain as to how this is going to be finished, or you know, this this particular painting is at a point where it's telling me what needs to be done. You know, there are portions that I think are finished, um, and so let's just say if, if this is the part that's finished, this. This is the part that's telling me how much further I need to take this, or, you know, there's such a strong light here. Does that suggest that I need to do some highlights back here, or is that subtlety helping push that back? So the harmony of the whole composition is helping you decide where this goes, not necessarily some connection to a reality that's predetermined or whatever. No. The the, the sketches, the photographs I used um, to establish the composition have long been put away. Now I'm just trying to draw this portion of the woods closer by using warmer colors. And uh, so, So I notice you've got your, your, the sky, I mean, this is, is this bare canvas? This is looking pretty pretty close to yep. raw. Yep. And then of course we're, we've got some shadows of... So this is a part of the initial drawing. Uh, in laying out the composition, I'm drawing it with paint. I'm not drawing it with a pencil. I'm drawing it with paint because that paint is a part of the painting. I mean, there's a slight possibility that some speck of this yellow ochre will show through and be a part of the finished painting. If it's a pencil drawing, you have to make sure you cover that up. Yeah. So if you if if you start by drawing with paint, then you've started the painting. If you start with a pencil, you, you haven't started the painting. You're taking the chance that it might work out anyway, and then and and if it's in oil, then you yeah you have that opportunity. Otherwise, it's Yes, because, you know, it, it's the yellow ochre can contribute to the uh, the interest of the painting, the, 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 the overall experience of looking at the painting. Now, I'm sure there's yellow ochre other places. So the fact that I knew that this was going to be a very warm fall, late fall painting quality of light, uh, I knew that the yellow ochre wasn't a bad choice. Uh, to use to uh, lay out my drawing. Right on. Speaking of qualities of light, 
what's behind this mobile easel. I want to talk about these. You've been doing, how many of these have you done? Uh, somewhere around 80. Woo! And they've gotten more and more bold as and I've seen you do them. When I started the first one, I had no intention of doing more than one. But as I finished the first one, I, uh, I was pleased with the composition. And in this case, there are actually uh, a set of 23 of these cottages in a row uh, outside of North Thoreau. And um, I think that's what gave me the emotional permission to uh, entertain doing more than one. And when I decided I was going to do more than one, I needed to see nine. They're square, I wanted to see a large square. And uh, so there you go. And so it quickly became less about the cottage and more about a time of day, quality of light, time of year. And so um, I, I also feel, and a part of what has kept me doing these, is I feel that uh, this series has helped me be a better painter. And so uh, it's, it's something that I've enjoyed doing, that I continue to enjoy doing, and it's, um, it's helping me be a better painter. So why not continue? And you, and you mean being a better painter by way of, okay, I've already decided this composition, and so the experimenting is in... The painting, grasp, right. you know. So as far as I'm concerned, if you don't have a good composition, you're wasting your time starting to use paint. Uh, so in this case, the, uh, the composition is there, so I can instantly jump into a time of day, quality of light. And, um, and I'm just using the, uh, the cottage uh, as a uh, three-dimensional object to uh, respond to with that quality of light, the suggestion, and in some cases, these is the exaggerated suggestion of uh, the warm morning sunrise or um, or sunset or midday. Ah, so. Gorgeous. And how do you get down to new ideas? What happens in, okay, I've got this initial thing, yeah. I'm working out, what am I even gonna start painting? I have, so I've been drawing since I was 10, and I always have one or more sketchbooks somewhere. And over on my shelf here, these are, these are most of my sketchbooks right there from over the years. And, um, and for me, I've purposely have them on my bookshelf as a reminder, as a motivator. Um, it's, it's there to inspire me. Meaning, meaning go back to them or just I'm collecting? Yes, I'm... Uh, yes on, on occasion I will go back. And so this is one, this is, um, uh, 2021. Uh, and so here are just some sketches of ideas for uh, this ongoing series. And so I do these little sketches uh, as, as I have ideas, as um, things to uh, consider. Um, wow, that's lovely. So this, so I saw this painting by this Italian artist and the name of the painting was this. And I decided, I haven't done it yet, but I've decided that I'm going to use this artist's painting as an inspiration to do one in this series. And then I saw a Monet painting of when he was in northern France of a rainstorm. It was a landscape and it was raining. And so uh, I'm going to do one in the series inspired by one of Claude Monet's paintings. And so that's just, uh, and just, ideas and so you're communicating yourself oh that's awesome both in both in you know geometrics uh the actual drawing but you're also writing to yourself do oh this here do that there yes, yes, yes. this is a very close to how i do it yeah. yeah and so this is brand new this is a brand new sketchbook i'm preparing for uh, an upcoming show and so these are just reminders of things of paintings that i want to do that have larger more uh, detailed sketches and drawings of that I just plan to do at some point uh, for a couple different shows. 
What about photography and that sort of thing? How, how does I, that get integrated? Uh, I uh, have a camera, but I also uh, have my cell phone with me. And as far as I'm concerned, you know, yes, my camera has like 600 DPI per square inch or whatever, but you know, your eye can't, I don't need that. And so I, I, use, I use the camera on my phone and, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not relying on the photograph. I, uh, I'm more reliant on my sketches and, and the painting as it, as it, as it progresses towards completion.